Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. I'm going to show you how to get that distancey, like the audio was captured from a distance, so it's not right in your face. It's got a little bit of reverb. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you the, the first one. It's a little loud, so just brace yourself. That's the original sound. Now let's look at the distance sound. So that's what we're going to do, and that's pretty, it's subtle, but it gives a real good flavor to your video. So let's start from scratch. Okay, at the beginning, you'll see here, I've got some footage here, nothing's applied. First step, go to your effects panels, and then in your effect panel, type in the word reverb. This gives you a few options. The one we're looking for is convolution reverb. Drag and drop that onto your audio track. Once you do that, Go to your effect controls panel, go to convolution reverb. You'll see a few things here. The what we're looking to do is a custom setup. So click on edit beside custom setup. When you do that, we get a couple options. The first ones are presets and then you get impulse and then a whole bunch of sliders. So for presets, switch it from default. And what you want is the one I like to use is distant source, although you can try a bunch of these different ones, but I find distant source to be the best one. And under impulse, you actually want to choose either large bathroom or you can actually use <laughs> an endless tunnel. But let's go with large bathroom for this one. But again, I do suggest that you play with the parameters and try and get it to sound what you want it to sound like. But let's go with this for now. And I'm going to go with the default. And now I'm just going to click on this X and now it's applied. Now listen to what we got. We've got that distance reverb sound and we did it in about 60 seconds. That's how you do it in Premiere Pro. 